Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across an MMC.exe app that's been blocked for your protection. So the MMC is the Microsoft Management Console app. So we're going to go about how to hopefully resolve this if you're noticing it's being blocked. So we're going to jump right into it and we're going to attempt to reset our user account control settings back to default so there's a chance that they have been modified or corrupted and we're going to go ahead and try and resolve that. The very first thing we're going to do is make sure that our services are turned on properly. So open up the start menu and type in services. Best match or come back with services here. Go ahead and left click on that. Locate the cryptographic service and go double click on that. Make sure startup type is set to automatic and if server status is stopped, you want to make sure it's running, so turn it to the start position. And then also go on the logon tab and make sure this account is selected here. So if it says local system account, switch it to this account and then just type in your computer password. Then select OK. Again, that's if you had to make any changes here. Another thing you can go ahead and try would be to open up the start menu. Type in CMD, best match, and come back with command prompt. You want to right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. Now I'm going to have a command in the description of my video. I want you guys to copy it. Go to the top bar of the command prompt window here, right click on it, select edit, and then paste it in. There's going to be a couple more things we're going to try after this, so I recommend you guys stick around. But this shouldn't take more than a minute or so, honestly, to run. This should be pretty quick here. So we're just going to be patient and let it run.
Okay, so once that is done here, we're going to go ahead and move on to the next thing we can go ahead and try. And that would be to go reset the user account control settings. So open up the star menu, type in regedit, best match circleback or registry editor. You want to go ahead and right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, you want to go select yes. Now I would recommend before you make any change to the registry that you create a backup of it. So anything went wrong, you could easily restore it back. And in order to create the backup, it is very simple. Just go ahead and left click on the file tab. Then select export. File name, I would suggest naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And export range should be kept as all. And if you ever need to import it back in, you would just would select file and then import. So again, pretty straightforward. So now we're going to expand the HK local machine folder. So go double click on that. Do the same thing now for the software folder. Same thing for Microsoft. Scroll down to Windows. Double click on that. Should be a current version folder in here. Expand that. Do the same thing for policies. Double click on that. And now it should be a system folder. Just left click on that one time. And now on the right side, there should be something that says enable LUA right here. So go double click on that. So what you want to do is change it from a 1 to a 0. So the base should be hexadecimal by default. Select OK. And now double click on it again. And now for value data, set it to 1. And then select OK. Now that you've done that, you should go ahead and restart your computer. You might have noticed that there was a security pop-up in the bottom right corner of the screen. That just is telling us that the user account control was disabled, which we just promptly re-enabled by switching it to 1. If your user account control settings are really corrupted, it might not even have shown anything to begin with. But just want to put that out there, you might see a little pop-up there, and that's just because of what we just did. So restart your computer and see if that has resolved the problem. Another thing you can try once you've restarted your computer and you're still having an issue, if you close out of here, it would be to open up the start menu, type in CMD, best match to go back with command prompt. You want to right click on that, and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. Now into this elevated command line window, you're going to type in SFC, followed by a space, forward slash scan now. Scan now should all be one word with that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard to begin running this command. It will take a few minutes to run, so please be patient.
Okay, so once it's done, again, I would suggest you guys restart your computer, and that should really be about it. So, I went over quite a few methods in this tutorial, and I do hope one of them was able to at least resolve your problem. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.